Strategy. What does strategy mean? What is the difference between a strategy and, for instance, tactics? As you know, these terms have been used for many years in different fields from politics to military and in particular in business. As you know, the term strategic has been quite recently widely applied to many different contexts. Strategic decision making, strategic marketing. In fact, you can't do anything right unless you do it strategically. What I think it's worthwhile to cover in this session first is that what does a strategy mean? Particularly to the extent that relates to business. Strategy is a series of correlated decisions in different points of time, correlated, with respect to the best available information. And typically, this best available information is a lagged indicator because we have the best available information from the previous period in this current period. Each one of these decisions, correlated decisions, could be a tactic, could be referred to as tactical decision. A series of correlated decisions based on best available information in order to attain a desired outcome in a future period. Attaining a desired outcome in the future period essentially means reducing the dispersion of other possibilities around that desired outcome. Now, statisticians will say reducing the standard deviation or the variance around the mean. But generally, we do a strategic thinking, a strategic decision making based on our ability to attain and interpret the best available information. Now, there's limitations to that in each period. As you know, the literature talks about bounded rationality and our ability to actually decipher and analyze the available information. But generally, this correlated set of decisions at each period of time to attain a desired outcome or reduce the dispersion of other alternatives around our desired outcome is a strategy. If this correlation is not good and that each tactic is you know, contradicting the previous tactics, well, we will have a suboptimal position. Does this process mean that we are guaranteed the desired outcome? No. Strategic decision making, a strategic thought process, might actually give us a suboptimal uh, result. For instance, let's say you, uh, we go to work, and every day we've got a path to take with our cars, and we think about the sequence of lights, traffic lights, and we say, look, I know this traffic lights is changing at this uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, time frame. We move between the different lanes because we know different parts of a uh, road might be busy at certain times of uh, the day, and that's primarily a strategic thinking. Now, you might want to optimize your position to get to your place of destination earlier and smoother, but one day it might be completely a traffic jam or rain or a storm. So your strategy is no good compared to somebody else who did not apply such a strategic thinking. So considering that you did that as strategic thinking, a series of correlated decisions based on your information doesn't mean that you actually obtain an optim optimal outcome compared to somebody who didn't do it. However, over a series of periods of time, if one does apply a strategic thought and decision making over a period of time, it's likely that we will have advantageous position to other players who didn't within our current system, within our current state of operation, uh, modus operandi, business-wise, so societal-wise. We know that in the gambling houses, in the casino, uh, at night, some people will win. But if we drop our strategy of saying, I'm going to study, I'm going to get a career, I'm going to further my education, and I'm going to save some money to become wealthy in a business context, and just say, no, I'm just going to go and do it randomly at the casino, because I've seen some people every night make some money. It is intuitively recognized by most of us that that is not a very replicable systematic process going into the gambling house. So most of us take a strategic path to a certain degree. 
to educate ourselves, go on to a career, save some money, do things systematically. So strategy is something that most of us apply on a daily basis, series of correlated decisions towards the desired outcome with respect to available information, with respect to our ability to interpret that information. And indeed, under the current set of our development, it will be giving a better, advantageous, higher value result compared to having a random strategy or something in the literature called random walk. 